Joined in the studio today by... Kev. Dan. Pip. And Pip. Pip, you seem to be getting sexy every time you say the word Pip. Oh yeah, Pip. <laughs> <laughs> now guys, we were talking about, it's the second uh, edition of our homeless program. Um, now, Kev, you've got some facts and figures and stuff about what it is to, uh, what's the official version of what's being homeless, haven't you? Oh, I've, got, I've, I've got no figures, but I do have facts. Um, the shelter, the housing and homeless charity's definition of homelessness is not having a home, even if you have a roof over your head, you can still be homeless. And they also say homelessness can include temporarily staying with friends or family, sofa surfing, staying in a hostel or bed and breakfast, at risk of violence or abuse in your home, forced to live apart from your family or someone you would normally live with because your accommodation is not suitable, living somewhere that you cannot afford to pay without depriving yourself of basic essentials, living in poor conditions that can affect your health, living somewhere that you have no legal right to stay in, e.g. a squat, and living in very overcrowded conditions. Right, good, end of it there. What we'll do back now is we're going to talk about helplines and stuff, yeah? Got it. What? Please do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the number for I'm doing it again. <laughs> Happy to the city quality. Get it! That's it, guys. Okay, say so it a little bit slower, please, because I'm not going to have a chance to write that one down. 02392. <laughs> Eight seven three one three one. Right. Okay. Great. Kevin, some more. Uh, so, have you got a website that people can have a look at? I think you've got time. Um. Actually, no. I, I don't have a website. Right. Okay. Surprisingly so enough, if, uh, if I do apologise. That's that's not a problem. If you Google shelter, it comes up. With, obviously, with the official site and all the contact yeah, telephone yeah. numbers from there. Listen, guys. If there's any advice you'd like to give anybody out there who find themselves in similar predicament to what you do, what would be your advice, Dan? Oh, completely wrong. I've got blame that. <laughs> Keep your head down yeah. and just do as much as you can, really. Yeah, do, do yourself to help yourself get out yeah. of it. I was going to have a question as well, but I mean, we're going to you, Kev. What, what kind of advice would you ask, uh, would you say to people if they do find themselves homeless? What, what would you say to them? Don't look, don't look so scared, fella. Uh, <laughs> well, first of all, I'd, um, I'd tell them to get in touch with uh, 822251. And the second number is 02392 Right, excellent. And, okay. and uh, last but not least, Pip, if you, some of you turned up and said that I'm a homeless, what, what advice could you offer them, sir? Um, basically, go to the civic offices or go to any other hostel yeah. and shelter there is uh, ASAP, really. Right, okay. Now, listen, we need to end. Thank you. More from Ed Change next week. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Bye. <laughs> I had to do it, I had to do it. Gazza, give it to Dixie. Pip gets loose. It, oh, that was a Dixie, was it? Pip gets loose in the radio. Air horn. Air horn, air horn, press air horn.